Hey, welcome back to Triple R. We're going to look at Press Start Pocket card game. It's a two player card game. It's a series three. There's two more decks you can get and you can mix them all together. So the rules are very vague. It's a bit of a mess. We'll, we'll go through it or what I can make of it. Okay, here we have Press Start Pocket. Let's unwrap it. So this is series three, eight bit battle cards. I do have one and two. I'm not sure where part one is. Includes one, include one fight. Dragon's promo. Okay. Back. Deck of cards. It looks like. Got rules, one side A, side B, side two, side B, that's not too bad, got a reference here, player A, got some stuff there, power attack, speed attack, pause, retaliate, shield attack, use these codes to win in battle, so let's just go to each player. We got the US SIFD, the Super, Twin Daggers, Shield and Sword. So these are weapons, it's a Super. Magic is a weapon, Mace, Clone Ship, Two Handed Sword. Sleep spell, Uber glove, super uh, battle. Press start. Weapon, weapons, more weapons. We got like an NES cartridge on each one. We got a robot, robot power. It's super auto block. Hate iron. Oh, we got a counter. Super hacker. And we some gather. So I got coins and jewels. Then you have battle. Power attack. Power attack. Power attack. Speed attack. Speed attack. Speed attack. And press start. Press start. So let's use this with an attack to start a battle. So then we got to retaliate. A bit rocket. It's just counters attacks. And cherry collector. Gather four points to earn a warrior. Okay. Player one. Okay, so characters here. We have Blizzard. Stats. Hacky, Ari, Chad, Brian, Zombie Biker, Robo Soldier, Ragnar, Omar the Powerful, Luchador, <laughs> Burglar, Carl Vinkman. So the art's pretty cool. So, I'm gonna pause this, read over the rules. If it's short gameplay, I'll go over it. If not, you just get an unboxing today. Okay, so the game rules are pretty, pretty bad. Um, it's unfortunate because it looks like it'd be fun, but <laughs> we'll go through. I set up a battle here first because it's just a, just a mess. You're gonna have a hand of seven cards. You're, you're each gonna get a random uh, hero. So you win by getting four heroes or winning three battles. So the problem with battles is just, you know, random what you draw and you have to accomplish this to get a battle. Say, Robo Soldier against 
Ragnar. He has to have one of these cards. Press start. The attack he can use, so it must have power six plus. He has seven and seven. So he can play this. Along with that, at the same time, he can play a whipping card, right? But I can't find anywhere where these weapons do anything. Like this says Daily Accurate. It's his special card. There's no point value. Nothing. So you just play it and it's there. <laughs> so that being said, the, uh, the supers, however, actually do stuff. Like... Now if you were to play the clone ship, that's pretty good. Let's destroy one warrior. So I guess you can destroy the one in play or one they have on reserve. But so say he played all of this stuff, right? One, two, three, four cards out of his hand of seven. He eventually got this to do a battle. So that's all that. There's a Ragnar. He's gonna play retaliate. And uh, the shields, uh, I haven't seen any shields in this deck, but if you had this card, by chance, this is off today, defeats clone ship, right? So I guess before this triggers, this would go off, discard that, discard that. And there's still an attack being played. So you go over here, and you're like, okay, what does Vitaly do? So he didn't have a pause and he didn't have a shield. So he still loses the battle, but he doesn't lose the warrior, I'm guessing. Now if he didn't have any of those cards, Robo Soldier would win the battle and the warrior would go into the trash pile. Face up. Because there's something where you can like pick him up. Uh, where is that? This game seems pretty terrible. There's a warrior snatcher, which I haven't seen. You always replenish your cards after battle to seven because you're losing so many cards. So I guess, uh, let's do a mock hand of what I can barely understand of these rules. Well, I forgot to mention the gather cards. That's how you get warriors. You need four points. You know, on your turn. So you can play like three in the one. And if you face up, once you get four, you get a random warrior. Okay, so that pile there is the warrior deck. I'm gonna shuffle the commons. So you don't get to choose your warrior. I mean, I guess you could if you really wanted to. But it's supposedly at random. So we're just gonna take the top two cards what we get. So this guy will be Carl Vinkman against a burglar. Very fast. Alright, we'll say it's a burglar's turn because I'm on this side. Deal out the seven to each. Seven to the deck. And this is there. Alright, so what do we got? So on your turn, you must. Every turn, a player draws one common card, two cards if you have, but the player has more than one warrior. A player must make one of the following moves play a gather card, attack, or discard a common card. So, on my turn, I'll draw. All right, so I gotta press start. Super, two retaliates, and no battle cards. So I can't start a battle, right? But I can play that. So I got one point. I'm trying to get four to get another uh, random warrior. So like I said, you get four warriors in front of you, you win. You win three battles, you win. So it's just pretty much it's like look at the draw. Okay, so that's what I have. Let's 
I think, uh, oh man. Like a weapon, a weapon, super. If I, <laughs> well, if I shuffle them pretty poorly. So a bunch of weapons. Like I said, um, pretty much they're worthless, from what I can tell. And there's like a master list that tells you what these things do. But he, uh, he would draw a card. So he can defeat robot power. Uh, he doesn't gather, so he gets a discard. I mean, who cares about this stuff? So he's discard. I think he said it's face down. It doesn't make any sense to me, so. Now we'll go back over here. I draw a card. <laughs> so I have a weapon. No battle cards. Gotta gather. Got two points. Yeah, retaliate. No battle cards. Game seems like a lot of fun. Oh yeah, loads of fun. Okay, weapon card. No battle card. Or a <laughs> gather card. So I'll put that there. This guy will go. What do we got? I like that. Well, it's a weapon card. Who cares? So this is what turn four. No battle. No battle card. Like, who's gonna get a battle card? Not him. We gotta retaliate. We're gonna discard. Okay. Look at that. So he would have just discarded something stupid, right? Yeah. So now the burglar. <laughs> so the burglar cannot use this because he has a power of four. So he's just gonna keep going. So he's gonna drop this weapon. This guy's gonna go. He has a press start now. I don't believe he has a battle card, right? <laughs> nope. Drop that. that for him. This guy will gather one point. Gather this guy, I think, right? Thinkman. He's got another press start. So you can initiate two battles and get the battle card. Press start. Alright. So all excess points, they just, they're just trash, so it doesn't matter. But this guy does get the Cthulhu. So on his next turn, he'll be able to battle because the Cthulhu Power of nine. Big <laughs> middle draw, and he'll discard. That's a lot of press starts. And then back, who cares? Okay, now we'll see a battle in play. Right? I still get to draw a card. And I can start gathering again, but I'm gonna initiate that battle. The press start button. Gotta play that. Play it's Cthulhu. Wait, they don't even have a, a warrior in play. They attack their main character, that's right. Alright, cool. Please press start. Along <laughs> with the battle. And then he has to play everything at once. He has a super. Opponent loses two turns. It's not bad, right? So now this guy has to retaliate, or shield, or do something. So he's going to retaliate. Oh, look at that. Super hacker. What does it do? Defeats robot power. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this game, like this, this is like turn what six or whatever before we even got to a battle. Maybe turn like eight. Uh -huh. So player A is the attacker. So player B. So retaliate. Well, no shield. So I think you can use super on defense. But you'd have to be able to, because yeah. 
retaliate, shield, pause, no response, lose. I assume that he loses the battle but does not lose his warrior because he retaliated and, beat the, and you know, was able to block that. It's kind of a shot in the dark here. And these are your instructions. Not that great. And then you would just continue on. This guy would get, oh, these are all gone. And you would just dump one of these things. Two points. This guy goes on. No battle. Speed attack. Burglar can attack. And you just keep going until you decide to play something else. So there is. That's kind of a shame. That it's just so randomly put together and like you have to play three or four cards at a time and like no explanation for these things. It'd be cool if these things did stuff. And like maybe there's like a master list on the website. Like Hero Clicks has that big list of like symbols. So I'll look into it. Maybe. Is it? I like the art. I think it'd be fun. Uh, I don't think I can really recommend this. There it is. Press start pocket. These are the rules I found on Board Game Geek in a forum. I guess they're right. It makes your weapons do something. So, there you have it.